This is our third tutorial of the R Basics tutorial series. These are the instructions for this tutorial and the associated Google quiz. These are also the learning objectives of this tutorial. The main thing that we will be focusing on in this tutorial is ENHANCE, which stands for National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. You've been briefly introduced to this dataset in tutorial 2, but in this specific tutorial, we'll go into it in more detail. So what is ENHANCE? Again, ENHANCE, or National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, is a program with a series of studies developed by the National Center for Health Statistics, and it aims at determining the health and nutritional status of Americans. It contains continuous information from 1999 until now, and it is ongoing. And there are five different types of data that you can see on ENHANCE. The first is demographics data, and then the second is dietary, third is examination, fourth is laboratory, and fifth is questionnaire. And if you click on this link right here, it will take you to a page that will look like this. And here you can see all of the different enhanced data set organized by year. And when you click onto one of these boxes, you should see a page that looks like this. Here is when we can see, or sorry, here is where we can see all of the different types of data that we've mentioned before. There's the demographics, dietary, examination, laboratory, and questionnaire. Feel free to explore them. Now that we know what Enhance is, let's try to import one of the data sets into our R session. For this tutorial, let's say we want to import the demographics data of Enhance from 2013 to 2014. So let's click on this box right here. And this is what you should see next. There is the doc file with the data description and an XPT file with the actual data set. To import this data set, we first need to download it. So we need to click on this link and then an XPT file will be downloaded. After that, like we learned in tutorial two, we can just install and attach SAS export and then use read export to import the data into our R session. And then let's run this code to check the first few rows of this data. It works, perfect. Okay, now we can manipulate the imported data however we want. Another easier and more convenient way for us to import this demographics data set is through using this package right here, Enhance A. After installing and attaching this package, we are now given a whole range of very powerful functions that were designed specifically for Enhance. First is Enhance Tables. This function shows us the file name of an Enhance data set that we want. For example, if we want to know what the name of the demographics data taken in the year 2013 is, we can write this code. And now that we know the data file name of that data set, this will be very, very helpful when we write this next code right here. And when we use this function, enhance, we are basically replicating what we did earlier when we downloaded the XPT file and then imported it onto R. In other words, this function downloads the XPT file that we want and then directly imports it into R. So the XPT file never needs to be downloaded onto our hard drive. And if we run this code, this enhance code, you should see that the output is the exact same as the one that we ran earlier when we use read export to import the downloaded XPT file. Another function that we can use is enhance translate like this. This function translates our data directly. So for example, if we look at this demo table again, we see that the variable gender contains numerical data instead of text data. So to translate the numerical data into text, we can use this enhance translate function like so. And now if we look at the table again, 
the variable gender should only contain text data now. Enhance A isn't the only package that offers functions like this. There are other packages as well, and you are free to explore them at your own time. But for this specific tutorial, we will only be going over Enhance A. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to know what Enhance is and how to retrieve an Enhance dataset. You should also be familiar with the functions that are housed in the Enhance A package mentioned in this tutorial. Now that we are introduced to Enhance, you should now be ready for the next tutorials where we will be using some Enhance data to practice data manipulation and visualization. A reminder that there is still a Google quiz and also a few try it yourself um, sections that you can practice. Otherwise, there are also the functions debunked sections that will tell you more information about the functions that were introduced in this tutorial. Good luck!